I mean, when I graduated from high school, I remember the day, the last day of school, standing out in front of the school building thinking, what in the world am I going to do now? Because in those days, you couldn't afford to go to college unless you had money. And my parents were farmers. They didn't have any money for me to go to college. And uh, so I went to work at the county agent's office in Cimarron. And a man came through that was promoted. In those days, we had NYA, which was National Youth Administration, that was financed by the government. And it, uh, so they had these uh, classes in Topeka. They had a stenography class and a radio repair class and uh, photography. And so I told them I signed up for the photography. And so when I got back to Topeka and went to see the photography school, the man that was running the photography school said, I didn't authorize him to sign up anybody for photography. And I said, well, I'm sorry, I signed up for photography. And uh, so uh, we went back and forth for a little bit. And he said, well, I'm sorry, I already have an Eva in the class. And I said, well, my name's not Eva, my name's Eve. He said, okay, you can be in the class. <laughs> so then uh, Pearl Harbor, I started back there in September, I think it was, and Pearl Harbor was in December. So as soon as Pearl Harbor happened, then photographers from all over the United States used to write to him for, for students because they knew he was an excellent portrait photographer. And it, then, you know, there were a lot of service people, so everybody had a lot of service people. Uh, pictures to be taken and uh, so this Eva and I decided to go to Wisconsin and Wausau Wisconsin the father had a studio there and the son had a studio in Anigo Wisconsin so she went to Wausau and I went to Anigo they were about 50 miles apart and uh, then I uh, worked there and well, I guess I must have been there at least a year I had a like a studio apartment it cost me $15 a month but I made $15 a week and thought that was a good salary. And then uh, I met a serviceman there that was stationed there, and he and I became very friendly and became engaged, and he was transferred to Little Rock, Arkansas. So he kept wanting me to come down to Little Rock. And I uh, wrote to the Chamber of Commerce in Little Rock and asked for the name of some studios in Little Rock. And they just sent me a page out of, of the telephone directory that had a whole bunch of studios, so I just went eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I had no idea what kind of quality of work they did or anything. And uh, I wrote to four of them and told them I wanted $35 a week and that I did retouching and what, where I'd gone to school and so forth. And I got wires back from three of them to come immediately. Well, then here I was again, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, because I had no idea which one was. And I happened to pick out a pretty good one, but they had they were a big enough studio, they had 20 full-time retouchers. Well, I loved to retouch, so I did just retouching. Well, and I, shortly after I got down there, we broke up, and I decided to join the Marine Corps. So that's when I joined the Marine Corps. 